Cornwall hunt back-to-back -back wins for the first time ever in the club's history. And they make two changes from the side which comprehensively defeated London Scholars by 30 points to 14 in the capital last time out. Both those changes to Mike Abbott starting 13 come in the back division with Cam Brown returning in an unfamiliar role on the wing in place of Errol Carter. And Kobe Nicol, after a two-game suspension, replaces Tom Ashton, who's failed to shake off a shoulder problem. For Midlands Hurricanes, they're without a win under their new coach, Mark Dunning, who replaced Richard Squires back in May. Last time out, the Hurricanes were defeated in their on-the-road game at Derby by promotion chasing Hunslet. And they have problems in the halves with Jacob Hookham, partnered by Elliot Winley, who's ordinarily a hooker. And on the bench, former chuff Jacob Beer will face his former side. The Midlands to kick off. Cornwall playing up the slope in the first half. Punchard and Newbound leave the ball to one another, but it's Nathan Newbound who will take the first carry. He's met by a strong Midlands welcoming committee. Remember, the Hurricanes have a habit of starting matches fast. They tended to fade away in the final stages. Recent matches against Hunslet and Dewsbury have been evidence of that. Cornwall with a third tackle. Here's Harry Boots. That's a good carry from Boots. Finally, Cornwall making some metres early in the piece. Here's Cam Brown. Live wire Cam Brown. Oh, he was nearly through there. Just slipped on the turf at the final moment. And Cornwall with Ruslin, who will kick early in the tackle. That count. Now then, that's turned Todd Horner right around. He slips as well as the rain starts to fall here at the Memorial Ground. Good opening set from Cornwall, good kick chase from the hosts as well. As Midlands look to work the ball up this short side, but there's Boots is involved in the tackle and Sean Croston. And again, Midlands look to go up this narrow side of the pitch here at the Memorial Ground as the rain just gets a little bit heavier and the referee's called Time off. Ladies and gentlemen, that was Wellen, Matty Wellen. Gone off for an early HIA after he received that knock. Midlands with tackles left in the bag. Chris Cullimore with the scrum cap on in at dummy half. They work it to this right hand side, and that's the last tackle. The referee Luke Bland has his hand in the air. Looks like it'll be Hookham, and Hookham goes high. And Cam Brown, who did start on the wing, has dropped into the fullback bar. That's a brilliant catch from Brown. And the referee says that Midlands were offside. The chase. Cornwall will play the ball 40 metres out. There is some blue sky up there, but the rain is coming down. Welcome to summer rugby in Cornwall, folks. Cornwall with new bound. So impressive last week against London Scholars. Started off in the same vein. Collins, here's Jake Lloyd. Cornwall's Mr. Consistent and ever present so far in the side. Tops the tackling charts. Collins to Ruslin. Brings Cullen back on his inside. Still going Cullen. He kind of ran laterally there, but there's another penalty for a high tackle. Cornwall in range. Well, these conditions are really going to test both sides. They'll be looking to keep hold of the ball. Some one-out carries, and Cornwall were lucky there to get that ball away. It's a little bit slow at dummy half. The rain comes down. Cornwall now got to go up the short side. He is Croston. Croston is brought down. The referee signals the last tackle. And it's Punchard. Oh, that's charged down. But the referee said that's touched by a Midlands hand. And that's six again for Cornwall. And here's Boots. Now then, this is an opportunity for Cornwall. 20 metres out. Just shoveled into the hands of Newbound again, and there's another penalty. 
Midlands offside. Luke Collins thinks of playing it quickly, but calls have take the two from the Memorial Ground crowd. But I think Cornwall are going to run this ball, and that's the right decision. And that's exactly what they do. And there's Boots, three Midlands defenders to bring him down. Collins, which way will he go? He goes to Punchard. Oh, Rust is nearly through a gap there. That was Hukum who came flying out the line. Collins to Cullen. Cullen steps one way, then the other. Still going, Nathan Cullen. Still going, Nathan Cullen. Will he get over? Oh, he is over the line. Has he grounded it? George Mitchell thinks he has, but the referee says he's held up and played the ball. Nickel. Oh, Nickel fancies one on his own. Now then, Kobe Nickel. I think he scored. He has. Great strength from Kobe Nickel, and he's got the opening try for Cornwall. Brilliant from Cornwall, brilliant from Nickel. Left Midlands flat footed, and he's pinched one from. Well, the ball's come free, and Midlands have got it, and they're away. Now then, a real chance for the visitors to put some pressure on the Cornwall line. They've stacked out here on this right hand side, and that's where it goes. Through the hands, Johnson's got a stroll in. Oh, Ryan Johnson, what have you done? You've bombed a certain try. The rain has abated, the sun trying to peek through as Cullimore goes to snipe one away from Dummy Half. Remember, that's how Cornwall took the lead through Kobe Nickel. The visitors just building up a little bit of a head of steam now. And they are just three metres away from the Cornwall line. Hukum, Horner. Well, um, Johnson, he makes no mistake that time. Ryan Johnson with a try for Midlands Hurricanes. And the sides are level with a kick to come. After that handling error, Midlands have a scrum. Oh, they've gone to their left. It's Todd Horner chiming into the three-quarter line. Cullimore at dummy half, points left, but he goes right and it's into the arms of Big Kieran Moran who's on an interchange. Cullimore again directing operations, they go back into the middle of the park and Tom Wilkinson, the former Dewsbury man, comes back on the inside, he's tackled on his feet. Quick play of the ball again. Midlands go down the other side this time. Hallett, great hands out to Hayden Freeman. I think Hayden Freeman's got in at the corner. Yes, the referee awards the try. Cornwall penned into their own half. That's a big contact on Cameron Brown. Last tackle as we approach the half-time interval and it's Punchard who kicks it's a good kick as well that's gone in behind Todd Horner and Horner, well he's let the ball run out I'm pretty sure that that is a 40-20 and the referee and the merry flag waver on this grandstand side agree Cornwall will play the ball deep in Midlands territory as we approach the half-time interval And it's Jake Lloyd. He gets close to that Midlands line. He's held up about a metre short. Cornwall with a brilliant opportunity. Remember, they trail by eight points to four. And on the bounce, it's picked up by Mitchell. Mitchell brushes off the attention of Johnson. But then Wellham cuts him down. And he does well to stay in the field of play. Nickel, flat ball, Cullen. Nathan Cullen with legs pumping and driving. Cornwall have been in this position before. Will Nickel try and pinch another one? No, Midlands have wised up. Instead, it's to Ruslin. Ruslin's little dab through. Brown! Oh, Brown was hunting a try, but Horner does really well. Maybe a drop out under the sticks. And there goes the siren. Midlands Hurricanes lead 8 4. Early stages of this second half. Cornwall trail by eight points to four. Crucially, they are playing down the hill here at the Memorial Ground. As Kane de Mac, the Maltese international, has got the home side over halfway. And there's Ewan Badham, who's made a big impact from interchange. With Barraclough, another one of the interchanges who's 
given Cornwall some real go forward. It was Wheatman that plays the ball and Punchard on to Ruzzin. That's nice hounds. Brown out to Nickel. Now here's a chance for Cornwall. Brown, oh, he went to give it to Mitchell but thought better of it. Steps back inside. Still going, Kobe Nickel. Cornwall 12 metres out. Slow play of the ball. Nickel eventually gets to his feet. And here's Ruslin. Lloyd just tipped back on the inside. And the hand goes up in the air to signal the last tackle. Cornwall in range. First attacking opportunity of this second half. It's Ruslin. Ruslin's little grubber. Oh, that's bounced nicely now that Horner's away. Who's got the toes here? It's Barraclough that's after him. And Brown. Todd Horner got the toes, no Cameron Brown has though, brilliant defence from Cornwall, Brown's all over Horner, the referee signals for the penalty and I think Brown's off for 10 minutes, yeah professional foul, Cameron Brown in the bin, advantage to Midlands Hurricanes early in this second half, Cornwall down to 12. On, Midlands with a man advantage. They look threatening. Here's Hookham. The ball's out on this far side to Freeman. Or oh, Freeman eyed up the corner, but then he, he cut back inside. It's Horner at dummy half. Hookham again is becoming more and more influential for the Midlands Hurricanes. Cullymore will play the ball. They go to go out of this far side. They've got numbers. Well, um, great flick ball. Johnson, is he in? No, he's not. That's a great cover tackle from George Mitchell to push Johnson into touch. Midlands with the ball. And that's Matty Wellham. Cries of a forward pass from the home crowd. But the referee says, oh, the referee said six again as well. Cornwall, who was squeaky clean in the first half, did not concede a penalty. Don't want to let their discipline undo all that hard work. Remember, Cameron Brown still in the bin, but he is stripped and ready. That's good defence from Cornwall there, driving the Hurricanes back to almost halfway. Demek and Lloyd and Wheatman as well, and that's a great tackle from Ewan Badham. On the live wire, Todd Horner. Now then, there's another long pass out to Freeman. Now Freeman, he'll go to take Punchard on on the outside. Back inside to McCauley Hallett. Still going. Oh, the ball's just gone to ground. But it's another penalty. Tackling the player without the ball, I think. And players run in. Difference of opinion between the two sides. A relieving scrum for well, Cornwall. There's Penryn's George Mitchell takes Cornwall over the 10 metre. Line is Mike Kevin, the master of ceremonies here at the Memorial Ground, revs the home crowd up again. Oggy, oggy, oggy indeed. And looked like an incorrect player, the ball, but the referees ruled that there was a Midlands push on Luke Collins. So not only do Cornwall have a penalty, but it's further time that they can eke into Cameron Brown's 10 minutes. He's got in the sin bin. As I said, he is stripped and ready to go back on when that 10 minutes is up. So far, Cornwall have managed to keep Midlands at bay. The best result for the home side would be points while they are down to 12 men. That would be a hammer blow to the Hurricanes, even if... Would only draw Cornwall level. And here's the live wire punch out. He's been brilliant again in the halves alongside Ruslin. Collins appeals to the referee, but the referee says, get up and play the ball. And that's exactly what Cornwall do. And it's Cullen, and that's a great offload to Collins. Collins scampers one way, then the other. He's still going, Luke Collins, or he runs straight into Cullimore. Cullimore eventually cuts him down. Barraclough now, Ewan Badham. Great carry from Ewan Badham again. His legs are still going. He's tackled on his feet. 
quick play of the ball needed. He's pushed back, but the referee says, get on with it. Ruslin on to Cullen. Oh, he was almost over. Last tackle here. Here's Ruslin, little dab through. Oh, it's bounced back kindly into his arms. Ruslin, oh, he's got the ball down, I think. Slice a lot for Cornwall, but they'll take it. Adam Ruslin has scored. Cornwall level the scores with a kick to come. The kick bounced nicely into his arms. And he... Yeah, well, well, in with the ball on the tee. And we missed the first kick from right out on the touchline. This just to the left of the post, and Ruslin strikes it, and the flags go up. Cornwall are ahead. Cornwall with another good attacking platform. Remember, the home side have drawn first blood. In this second half of Adam Ruslin's try, Cameron Brown back into the fold after his time in the sin bin. He's there in the three-quarter line, directing operations. There's a good carry from Nathan Newbound. Quick play of the ball, Collins on to Demet. Demet with a little skip, but he's brought down nine metres out from this Midlands Hurricanes line. Well, and the referee said six again. So Cornwall with a real opportunity here. His punch hard, he goes one way, then the other. Then he just straightens up and takes the tackle with Ellis Hobson, former Wigan youngster involved. And punch hard pushes the Midlands defender away. And Cornwall go out wide. Here's Brown on the ball. Well, the ball's been ripped out there, I think. Yes, it has. The referee agrees. It's touched by a Midlands hand. Cornwall will exert further pressure on this Midlands Hurricanes line. Here's Cullen, Nathan Cullen. Look at the defenders he's attracted around him. One, two, three involved in the tackle. Two others for company. Cornwall need a quick play of the ball though. Cullen's on his back. Not going to get it. Collins to Ruzzin again. It's just tipped back to Newbound. Will lay the platform for Cornwall. Collins goes right to Punchard. Punchard now, here's Brown. Brown, great dummy, great feet. Oh, Cameron Brown, that is sensational. What a try from the Australian. He was too good, too quick, too clever for the Midlands defenders. And he goes in under the post for Cornwall's second try of the half. And they stretch their lead to 14 points to eight with a kick to come. Well, Adam Ruslin with what looks like a straightforward opportunity to stretch Cornwall's lead. If this kick goes over, the home side will be 16 points away in front. And Ruslin steps up and he makes no mistake. Midlands with a scrum in range. And it's fed out the back to Elliot Windley with number nine on his back, but playing in the halves this afternoon. Cullimore at dummy half, and that's a strong carry. Looked for an offload there, but it wasn't coming. Cullimore out to Windley. Oh, that's gone backwards, has it? No, it's gone fours, the referees say. Brilliant defence has given Cornwall the opportunity to break from deep, and they've done that. He's rushing his away. He's got Brown on his outside, and he finds him. Brown in a foot race with Horner, and he's cut down. Brown's tackled, and then he's dragged into touch by Wellham. Surely that was the second effort. The tackle was already completed. Cornwall appealed for a penalty. The referee, Luke Bland, is going to speak to his touch judge, Alex McDonald. I think McDonald, yes, McDonald said the tackle was completed. The referee reaches for his back pocket. And Matty Wellham is off for 10 minutes in the sim bin. The Hurricanes bench are incensed. They don't like it. As Adam Raslin just tells everyone to calm down. Caught with a penalty and Raslin. The coolest man in the memorial ground currently just nonchalantly kicks the ball into touch. And he'll tip it on to Kane Demek. Demek 
Collins plays the ball. Punchard onto Newbound. That looked like a high tackle. Cornwall, will they take two? The crowd are saying take two. David Wheatman signaled to take two. It looks like they're going to play on. Yes, they are. So Cornwall, they're going in for the kill. They sent blood here. The Hurricanes, they're down a man. Cornwall know that another try. And it is a long, long road back for the visitors. There's Cullen, who has a heavy impact. Cullimore gingerly gets back to his feet. Collins looks right and he finds Barraclough and Barraclough steps back inside, but he's cut down. Cornwall six metres away from this Hurricanes line. Collins, who he dummies and goes to go on his own, but he's brought down, but he's inch Cornwall even closer. Barraclough now goes to go on his own and Barraclough's over the line, but he's held up. That will be the last tackle. Barraclough will have to go back and play the ball. Ten metres out. Yeah, the referee puts his hand in the air. Cornwall, one tackle left. Here's Ruslin, just hangs the ball up for Brown. Oh, Brown's picked the pocket of Jacob Hooper to score his second try of the afternoon. And Cornwall's third of this half. Brilliant pinpoint kick from Ruslin. Brown timed his run to absolute perfection. Ruslin, who's been at the heart of so much good work from this Cornwall side this afternoon. A try and an assist in this half already. And a further two points to his name as well. Cornwall with another attack in scrum. They lead by 22 points to eight. The ball's fed and Collins out the back to Ruslin and there's Nickel. The scorer of Cornwall's opening try this afternoon. Ruslin goes in at dummy half onto Collins and there's Big U and Badham again. And Badham beats the first tackle of Brad Clavering, but Clavering gets him in the end. Collins to Barraclough and Punchard dummies. He's still going or he saw a little gap, but Cullimore and Jacob Beer do well to bring him down. Ruslin out to Brown, little dab into the corner. Now the chance for Witten, try for Cornwall. That's it, game set and match to the chance. There's no way back for the Hurricanes and Cornwall great history with back-to-back -back wins for the first time ever in their history. Liam Witten's first try of the afternoon. With seven minutes left, Cornwall lead by 26 points to eight. That lead is surely unassailable. Well, Ruslin, after three conversions from almost bang in front of the sticks, this is his most difficult one of the afternoon. He's about six metres in from the far touchline, and Ruslin steps up, right footed, but that looks good. Off the post, oh, and the flags go up. into the final minute and Cornwall know they are only moments away from making more history. Ruslin's opted against kicking that penalty into touch. Instead, he just finds boots. Collins still clapping his hands, still as enthusiastic as ever. Wants a quick play of the ball and he gets it. Ruslin back to Ewan Badham, the home side after that brilliant win at London Scholars last Saturday. They're only moments away from going back to back for the first time in the club's history. It's Brown who's on a hat trick. And he's cut down by Windley. Slow to play the ball, but matters not a jot really at this late stage in the piece for Cornwall. The victory is in the bag. Collins. There's the siren, so Ruzzin just dabs through it, takes a deflection. Boy, it's fumbled in the in goal, but it's palmed back to Horner. Horner does really well to get out of the in goal. But he's tackled over by the sideline, and the referee blows the full-time whistle. Cornwall 28, Midlands, Hurricanes 8. A famous win for the Chuffs. A brilliant second half showing as they score 24 unanswered points to go back to back for the first time in the club's history.